images and we're going to see what we can find on this uh, video. Again, today here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's just very dark. Time again is uh, 6.41 and we're seeing some strangeness in the skies as well. So I send my respect to all of you and we're just going to now head on and see what we can find on them cams. Also in this uh, globe footage, you can see that many of the temperatures are climbing around the, uh, the world as uh, sea res le levels are rising as well. Just getting very hot on the uh, temperature charts I've noticed this evening as well. Soon I believe we will all go into uh, darkness. The earth will uh, be darkened even more each and every month as the uh, Brown Dwarf Star heads closer towards us as well, causing more dark shadows so the uh, natural sunlight doesn't get through. It will get dimmer each time. So I urge you all to uh, prepare and prep for this uh, huge coming event. This whole situation is um, starting to uh, unravel itself now. We are starting to see through the veil of the skies. This uh, image here is the tectonic plates that are all over the, uh, the world right now. We've got that Arabian plate and the African plate. And all these are huge shiftings of uh, tectonic plates that cause uh, huge tsunami waves. This is all because of the pole shift in the past. And again, we are ready to become into a situation of another pole shift because we've got Nibiru that's coming in. Now I'm going to go to um, webcams. I'm going to try first on the skyline cams and see what those skies are saying to us now. This is a uh, Spanish cam and this is in Manda Beach cam. And um, you can see here as well these uh, chemtrails on the horizon. The sun that's going down. And also, again, this huge dark object. So on the right hand side, there is something that's dark in the skies here, isn't there? You can see these chemtrails here in front of our sun as the sun is going down with this uh, object. Just keep an eye on this dark shadow. It's just notice this on this cam, this dimness in the sky. This is a Croatian cam as well. And I've zoomed up to this as well because I'm looking up at the uh, top of the screen here. You can see this clearly, this round object that's there in the thickness of the uh, chems and the clouds. I mean, the brownness and the thickness of the sky. Again, it looks like a very strange celestial body up there. And I'm seeing these size objects as well now from all different cams. Now, I've checked most of the skyline cams. And I've noticed that many have closed down. And also, most of the other ones are in night time as well. So. But that there is very interesting, isn't it? Seeing that object there on the screen. Can you see this now? It's just very chemy up there at the moment. But it's just blown me away. What I've done is I've um, enhanced it. And I can see it up there. So let's check some more different cams from around many other parts of the world as well, so we can see on them cams. But that's very interesting, isn't it? See that, the size of it and the shape of it as well. Can you see this object that's on this um, space cam? I'm just keeping an eye on it now, and I've noticed this as well. There's another Ustream cam as well. But also, as well, when you uh, look closely with the space station, you can see the Earth's wobble as it's uh, rotating. It's basically being very erratic as well, sort of bobbing movement. And again, you've got those pink clouds. It's a reflection from the other heavenly body. And again, Australia got it really bad last night. It's real serious weather. A tornado. Now, the thing is, I'm going to now go to the Australian um, report of what happened um, last night as well. Here it is, basically um, what happened at Queensland's Premier described Cyclone Debbie as incredibly scary and said the state would be feeling its impact 
for up to five days. Now, this is crazy weather, isn't it? It's just been erratic all the time around the world. It says again, worst storm in Australia in years. Hits the mainland as it happened. And it's still going on now. So respect to Prep Aussie, and I hope he's okay. And this information needs to be uh, brought out all over the world as well, doesn't it? Because um, people are being evacuated. 40 million homes have been without power. I mean, this is getting much worse. I mean, only a few months ago, it was huge earthquakes in Australia, wasn't it? Now we're getting uh, cyclones. All sorts of erratic weather. The weather patterns and also these earthquakes. This is all because of these huge magnetic pulls of these other heavenly bodies. And people are now, with their channels, are starting to see and look up to the skies and also on the cams, seen evidence that these objects are now being shown on these uh, cams and also on uh, footage, on videos. We are seeing this now, aren't we, all of us? Here is a uh, report from it as well. Queensland Police Commissioner has warned people to prepare for the possibility of deaths from Cyclone Debbie, a Category 4 storm that struck the eastern coast of Australia on Tuesday. The scale of the destruction was yet to emerge on Tuesday evening, amid reports of severe damage to homes and communities cut off from communications. The destructive core of the cyclone hit the coast near Airlie Beach about midday local time after wrecking havoc on the uh, Whitsunday tourist islands, where wind blew up to uh, 263 kilometers an hour and ripped through roofs of houses. There were fears of major damage on the mainland and uh, Prospane and police warned there could be casualties from the slow moving cyclone. Fears of damage from the storm surge in Mackey out the southern edge of the watch zone faded as Debbie was downgraded to a category three storm by 4 p.m. Now it's getting erratic, isn't it? We're seeing all this strange weather. And as again, the uh, John Moore documentary that he uh, prepared and it was he was spoken about in 2008, he said all this was going to happen. And it's starting to happen now, isn't it? A lot of the military, they've got to high ground now. They moved up high ground because you know it's coming. This isn't because of um, climate change. This is because of these huge objects that are uh, incoming now. But again, the public believe media and they would just come out of all different sort of um, stories and ways to make people believe them but we need to now come together as a community to understand that things have seriously changed now and uh, it's all starting to move pretty fast now isn't it As again, the news media will just keep it away from us. They will not disclose the truth. They won't say anything. They just don't want anybody to know because they don't want mass panic to lose control. So let's go to some more cams and see what we can find on them for you. Here on this weather cam as well. This is um, the UK cam. But can you see that pinkness in the sky? And there's that strange shadow again we've noticed can you see this here? We're seeing this shadow again, just above the uh, horizon here, and this pinkness in the sky. The dimming of the ground as well is very dark. It's not the same as our natural sun. I mean, come on, this side of the, uh, the skies, we are seeing this object, aren't we? This is a live San Francisco cam. And you will see when the sky gets lighter, you will see the chemtrail in the beginning. And over there, they're spraying their skies. And also that dark patch up in the sky as well. This is a live Cincinnati cam as well. And again, those chemtrails in the night, these strange light objects. And also, when it gets daylight, you can see these objects moving across the screen to the left-hand side. There's other objects above those cams. Can you see that? This is a Galveston cam in Texas. And I've got a few friends over there as well. Sharice Nelson, I respect you and I hope you're doing okay. 
And also, I've noticed this object. Can you see this on the skies? I'm going to zoom into this and see what it is. And also, can you see how dark it is as well? Let's just zoom in on this object. It was quite difficult to zoom in on that when it was on a time lapse. It just flashed in a matter of um, milliseconds. So I'm just going to go through the time lapse and show you this. Um, how it just disappears, flashes and goes. So I'm going to go to another image for you as well. But um, just crazy times ahead. It could have been anything. Can you also see this object? I've zoomed in on it as well. And this is a cam in uh, some part of California. But I'm going to um, run the time lapse on this cam so you can see this. It just goes in a split second. And it's also in the night time. Here's the cam running now. You'll see the skies and also lots of uh, reflections and stuff. But keep an eye on that top left hand corner. It just shows itself. See that? And then disappears. It's just getting much stranger now, isn't it? How we're spotting these celestial objects up there now. And these strange grey, bronzy colours. So it's important that we get all the uh, footage out there to the uh, public, isn't it? So again, now we're going to go to another webcam to see what images we can collect from there as well. This is another live cam as well. Another part of the world. And again, I apologise about it. I keep stopping and starting because it's a long way away. So the signal from here to there is uh, quite low. But normally this cam is in high definition. It seems to be blurred out slightly. But you can see that red haze, can't you, on the uh, horizon there. So again, I will keep an eye on this cam as well so we can find up there. Because... Um, as again, as I said before, it's persistent, isn't it, to keep checking everything. But you can see on this uh, this cam, this red ray of reflect reflections from a huge, heavily body. Now, this red reflection wasn't here before. Never. Not in the past. Not at all. You're getting this haze all the time. It's quite odd, really, because this cam is normally in high definition. So I'll look into this for you. I'm going to go and try another image now for you. This is a live panorama cam, 360 degrees. I mean, the thing is, you can see this, can't you? This pinkness in the sky. Here on this cam as well, I mean, look at this. You can see chemtrails. And also this pink hue. This is a reflection from Nibiru. Other people are seeing this pink reflection as well. It's not from our sun. And also, the, um, the skies are completely changing. They really are now, aren't they? And again, we're just going to keep a track of uh, different cams from around the world. This is a um, cam in Switzerland. Now the Swiss cams do show a lot of evidence as well. If you can look on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, as we saw on the other side of the world, but this side as well, we've got this uh, other reflection, this red, and it's on the horizon, it's all over the horizon there. Again you've got those pink cams. These are basically reflecting from the binary twin. So we've just got to keep an eye on all the, uh, the cams, as I said. As again, we might not see anything, but again, we might hopefully catch these objects in the skies. Sometimes these objects can be um, identified as other things. But it's just good, isn't it, to keep track of uh, the cams to see what we can find, because this one's in high definition. And I will be going to um, check another cam. Because every time we do this, we're just, I believe, getting closer to the truth. Here's another live cam as well on the panorama cam. And look at the look at the mountains, look at the snow, look at the red reflection that you can see there as well. And out to the sky, the atmosphere, it's too dim, isn't it? We're seeing a huge shadow up there as well. And I know you all see it as well, this um, yellow dimness from our celestial body, the sun, that object in front of it. We should be seeing now at 12 p.m. here on this camp, you should be seeing a very bright, light day. Heading into April now, aren't we? 2017, it's very close, isn't it? Now Into spring. But again, you can see this dark and this pinkness on the uh, snow. It's just so evident, isn't it, that we've got that object, Nibiru, that's Coming closer to us each time now, the reflections are proving it now, aren't they? I'm going to go to another image for you now. I know you can't see much on this cam, but what we can see here as well, this uh, pink reflection here, 
and here as well. So I'm going to go to another image for you, but um, as again, but the red reflections are not from our sun, it's from another body that's out there. And here's a weather cam in Australia as well. I've noticed this object on the top right hand corner. Could be anything, but basically it's red and it's it's large, doesn't it? But again, it could be anything else. But it just again, it's important to uh, track as much footage as we can. This is a live Tamworth cow, and this is also uh, in Australia. Timestamp there, twenty eighth of the third, two thousand seventeen, five oh nine p.m. Well, the reason why I was attracted to this cam is seeing this object going on. Just a huge shadow up there, isn't there? You can see this behind those uh, clouds. Just a dark shadow. It just looked very interesting to see that, so I thought I'd show you this on the, uh, the webcam images. I just want to say that there's some very well respected people, subscribers, that subscribe to the channel. They're out there in Australia. And I respect you all, and a big. Thank you for bringing all them fantastic images and photos into the uh, the email address. It's just outstanding that the community, the Nibiru community, are all out there, all across the world, searching the skies, and videoing as much evidence as possible. And also here on this uh, cam, this is a point, Hullor and Cam Southeast, dated the 29th, 3rd, 2017. Timestamp there is 5.30, 30 seconds a.m. in the morning. And you can still start to see that red mist in the sky, the chemtrails above, and the natural clouds on the horizon just being burnt away. That redness in the sky is coming in strong, isn't it? As again, we should just see our blue natural sky, but we're not no more, are we? So um, I'll move to the next cam, but again, just uh, thank you, all you Australians. Fantastic people. Again on this cam as well, it's very red, isn't it, the skies? This is the New Farm Cam, West, 5.33am, Australia. And I hope that cyclone didn't affect too many people because a lot of people in Australia right now are affected with uh, no power. Their power grid's gone down. Now, this will happen again, but the majority of the power grids all across the globe will go down when the band of all star gets close. So again, we need to uh, seriously... Think about those families without power. Respect them all from over there in Australia. Because they are very kind, genuine people across the world. And it's a shame what's happened, but we need to be strong for them. Again, on this Chapel Hill camp south, 5.35am in Australia. You can see those uh, chemtrails on the skyline coming just here. This purpleness in the sky is happening all the time now, isn't it? This is from another heavenly body, Nibiru, whatever you want to call it, Wormwood, the Destroyer. But it's here now, isn't it? We all just know this now. It's very much here. We've got a shadow here. And again, I just hope people are safe over there because their weather patterns are erratic now. Also on this uh, Australian cam as well, you can see this strange green effect, can't you, in the... Uh, above the clouds there, this um, strangeness, and also on the Ustream cams, you'll see the same sort of colours as well, this uh, greeny, lime green, it's horrible, this yellowness as well, it's bleak isn't it, it's just not nice at all is it to see really, and these are the sort of skies that my wife pointed out on Sunday night, strange clouds, I'm hoping people could see this, okay, this is another Australian cam, and again, can you see that red haze from the heavenly body on the horizon there? Yes, you can see that uh, grey cloud above. To the left and to the right, it's like a haze as well, with the spray in the skies. But again, you can see that red reflection, can't you? Right in the middle of the screen on the horizon. It's just a huge reflection from Nibiru. And I just want people to notice this, because, again, it's so important that people prepare for the, uh, this huge incoming event. So I'm going to try another image for you. This is a live broadcast in Australia as well, the Cliff, King's Cliff Cam. 
but it goes a bit short because adverts kick in. But I just want to show you this uh, darkness of the skies as well, this um, red reflection that's coming through. It's very interesting. So Australia is starting to pick up the redness on the horizons, this uh, red glare that's coming through, cutting through those uh, clouds. It's the binary twin is getting closer. So I'm going to switch to a different camera. Here on this uh, Cabrati account, you can see this object, can't you, on the horizon here as well. Just here on the horizon. There's a, a light source there. And also this red reflection that's coming in all the time. We don't get this normally every year or every day of the year. We just get a simple horizon, blue horizon, but we're getting these huge red reflections that are coming in a lot more now. This cam is operating on the 29th again in Australia at 6.53 a.m. So it's the sunrise. And the reason why I'm doing the Australian cams this evening is basically because of what's happened. I'm uh, just going to check this. This is the uh, Sunshine Beach cam. Again, I apologise about that, the way it paused and stopped. It's just uh, when we're getting difficulty when the cams stop and start because Australia is on the other side of the world. But it's, again, it's important to see what's going on over there as well. As you can see, you can all these uh, light sources on the horizons. Can you see this um, here as well? Behind all these uh, chems and these lower clouds, we are seeing this uh, red, yellow horizon all the time. And I've seen these uh, strange clouds as well here in the UK. And this redness as well. I apologise about this, um, the way this does this. I'm going to switch switch to some different cams now, okay? See if we can pick up something else in Australia. This is a live streaming now. This uh, web weather cam in Australia. 7.05, 7.06 a.m. in the morning. And it's... Uh, just very blue and dark, isn't it, the skies? So again, I'll be uh, keeping an eye on these uh, webcams tonight till the early hours of the morning. See what we can pick up, because they're getting some strange weather over there, aren't they? So again, respect to those uh, people, the members of the public over there, because they need to know the truth as well, don't they? These are images from the Mammoth Mountain ski area camp, the Canyon Lodge. Lincoln Mountain, this is in the USA as well. Now, I have had some trouble with the webcams here as well, trying to get the live stream for you so you can see it more clear in high definition. But at the moment, I can only get it like this, so uh, you can see the timestamp there, 12.57, 20 seconds. And I just want to show you these images, because it's very important, because uh, look how uh, dim it is as well there in, in the USA. And as I click through the other cams, now something on these images are blown out, two or three of them. So I apologise about this. But you can see that yellowness on the uh, the snow, can't you? This one as well. Look how dark it is. Okay? 12.57 with 20, 29 seconds. Okay? It's too dark, isn't it? I mean, the snow, it's supposed to be so bright now. You've got that simulator up there, haven't you? Again, on this image as well, it's blurry, but you can see just how dark it is, can't you? And here, facing down on this cam as well, on the building and on the snow, it's very yellow, isn't it? Not the same as what we had it before. Here again on these images, we can see how dark it is again, can't we, on the screen? It's because we are being eclipsed. We have got a huge eclipse that's happening right now with an object right in front of our uh, natural sun. Again, on this screen, you can see how yellow it is as well, how dim and dark. The skies are too dark the time of the day. I apologise how small it is, I can't even see whether it's shrunk the, uh, the time stamp and everything. I could just make out here it's the 12, 12 .52 p.m. Very dark indeed, isn't it? So evident now, isn't it, that we are in the shadows now, aren't we? Here's a few more images to show you as well. It's just very dark, isn't it? Time stamp there is 12 57, 59 seconds. Again on the 28th, which is very dark, isn't it? You see this yellowness on the, uh, the snow. I mean, look how dim it is with the uh, the trees. They're supposed to be very bright for that time of the day now. Very, very bright. It's coming up to 1 p.m. I and mean, again, we're now reaching towards April. Just so evident now, isn't it? We're getting some very, very dark skies. 
I mean, look at the snow, look at the yellowness. People need to see this now. They need to know that we are going into darkness. All the time now we're seeing this. Every day, dark skies. Here's the last image of the Mammoth Mountain Camp. And you can all see this, can't you? But the shadows are here now, aren't they? Huge dark reflections. And also, when I looked at those other camps of them, shadows, then big celestial shaped objects on the horizon. This is what's causing these uh, dark patches. And I mean, on these camps here, it's just clear blue skies. But the thing is, they're getting the sun is just like a yellow, brassy colour shade of darkness isn't it because of those uh, celestial objects up there as well so i'm going to go to uh, the nasa cams and see if we can find some other things up there before i go i noticed on this nasa ustream cam it flashes there's some sort of flashing going on out there but the sun is as well and we've seen this sort of flashing before i'm hoping it'll do it again on this uh, image for you as well and also again i will show you the soho charts at the very end of this video to show you that those flares and the activity up there is getting stronger. You can see that haze on the uh, earth from the sun and that object that's up there as well that's uh, darkening our skies. Before I put on this cam, I could see a lot of flashing going on in the, uh, the area where the sun is, pointing down towards the earth. See, again, checking these NASA Ustream cams is very important for you, the subscribers, because there is objects up there that basically uh, are being seen all the time now. Many other channels are watching these all the time as well, and you subscribers are doing the same thing. Now, again, last night I did a video towards the end. It, them objects could have been anything. It could have been lens flare or some other refraction. But again, it's just keeping persistent, isn't it, to keep an eye on those cams. I'm going to go to the... Um, Soho cam now to see what we can find as well. Okay, now we're on the Soho cam. So that's a zoom in and also check and see what we can find. Okay, here we are. We've got the Soho cam. Time stamp and everything in the uh, it just is like on a time lapse. You can see here, can't you, on the left hand side, we're going to get a huge flare. Can you see this? Belting out towards us here again they're starting to get bigger now these huge flares these cmes travel billions of miles through towards us it only takes eight minutes to get towards our earth and again all the trash in the skies we get some objects that come up across here as well it's just uh, very important to um, watch these uh, cams as well because through the past Six months, it's been getting worse. Getting pounded all the time, aren't we? And they're chemtrailing all the time as well to try and stop these harmful rays from getting down towards our Earth's core. And also, as well, to stop. They think they can stop a huge event from uh, closing our, uh, shutting down our power grids. Now, again, we've got to respect people from all over the world. Because Anything can happen at any point in time. So anyway, I'm going to go now, and I'll be back again tomorrow to do another video to see what we can find. Again, we might not be able to see much, and then on other cameras we can see everything. So again, it's so important just to keep being persistent and just keep carrying on. So respect to you all, and I'll be back again tomorrow from Matt Rogers. Skywatcher. And we're going to go through the different cam images and we're going to see what we can find on this uh, video. Again, today, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's just very dark. The time again is uh, 6.41. And we're seeing some strangeness in the skies as well. So I send my respect to all of you and we're just going to now head on and see what we can find on them cams. Also in this uh, globe footage, you can see that many of the temperatures are climbing around the, uh, the world as uh, sea le levels are rising as well. Just getting very hot on the uh, temperature charts I've noticed this evening as well. 
soon I believe we will all go into uh, darkness. The earth will uh, be darkened even more each and every month as the uh, brown dwarf star heads closer towards us as well, causing more dark shadows so the uh, natural sunlight doesn't get through. It will get dimmer each time. So I urge you all to uh, prepare and prep for this uh, huge coming event. This whole situation is um, starting to uh, unravel itself now. We are starting to see through the veil of the skies. This uh, image here is the tectonic plates that are all over the, uh, the world right now. We've got that Arabian plate and the African plate. And all these are huge shiftings of uh, tectonic plates that cause uh, huge tsunami waves. This is all because of the pole shift in the past. And again, we are ready to become into a situation of another pole shift because we've got Nibiru that's coming in. Now I'm going to go to um, webcams. I'm going to try first on the skyline camps and see what those skies are saying to us now. This is a uh, Spanish cam and this is in Manda Beach cam. And um, you can see here as well these uh, chemtrails on the horizon, sun that's going down. And also, again, this huge dark object. So on the right hand side, there is something that's dark in the skies here, isn't there? You can see these chemtrails here in front of our sun as the sun is going down with this uh, object. Just keep an eye on this dark shadow. It's just notice this on this cam, this dimness in the sky. This is a Croatian cam as well. And I've zoomed up to this as well because I'm looking up at the uh, top of the screen here. You can see this clearly, this round object. It's there in the thickness of the uh, chems and the clouds. I mean, the brownness and the thickness of the sky. Again, it looks like a very strange celestial body up there. And I'm seeing these size objects as well now from all different cams. Now, I've checked most of the skyline cams. And I've noticed that many have closed down. And also, most of the other ones are in night time as well. So. But that there is very interesting, isn't it? Seeing that object there on the screen. Can you see this now? It's just very chemi up there at the moment. But it's just blown me away. What I've done is I've um, enhanced it. And I can see it up there. So let's check some more different cams from around many other parts of the world as well, so we can see on them cams. But that's very interesting, isn't it? See that, the size of it and the shape of it as well. Can you see this object that's on this um, space cam? I'm just keeping an eye on it now, and I've noticed this as well. There's another Ustream cam as well.